y'all, it's Lectual of Intellectual Media, and this is Two Minute History. Very few people know her name and story, but hopefully I can change that. On July 19, 2005, the body of 19-year-old Lavina Johnson was found in a tent in Iraq. She had a broken nose, loose teeth, burns on her genitals, and a black eye. There were teeth marks and scratch marks on her upper body. Her back and right hand had been set on fire. There was a gunshot wound in the left side of her head. Keep in mind that she was roughly 5'1 and 100 pounds. The Department of Defense ruled her death a suicide. Besides the obvious red flags I listed that point to vicious assault, both sexual and physical, Lavina was right-handed, and the gunshot wound was on her left side. Her parents were immediately suspicious. They said she had been acting normally in the days leading up to her death, and her birthday was nine days after she died. Further investigation revealed even more inconsistencies. When Lavina's body was found, she was fully clothed, and there was a blood trail suggesting she had been dragged. The debris found on her clothing backed this up. Her fingerprints were never found on the M16 rifle that caused her gunshot wound, which is even more suspicious. To make things even more eerie, the Army initially refused to reveal autopsy reports to Lavina's parents. The Army didn't even inform her parents how she died for months. Her parents had to open up their own investigation. Her father, himself a military veteran, came to the conclusion that she had been raped and murdered and the whole thing had been covered up. Despite all of the evidence and suspicious circumstances, the House Armed Services Committee declined further investigation into Lavina's death. As far as the Army is concerned, the case is closed. Lavina Johnson was the first female soldier from Missouri to die in the war in Iraq. Well, there you have it. Black and sexy, baby.